Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishashay. Welcome you all in my channel, Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is, what is the major product of this reaction? So, this is a trying reaction with alkaline KNO4. What is the product? I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. Now, let's start. Look at the reagent. It says alkaline KNO4. So, it is actually an oxidizing environment. And later, this side is actually cyclohectra, this triene, conjugated triene. And here, one sp3 carbon there. By the way, if I ask this molecule is aromatic or not, uh, actually it is not aromatic. By the way, there are some places where you see this is homoaromatic. Okay. Uh, so, actually some kind of stability is there, but it is not completely stable like benzene. So, that means this sp3 is the actually issue so if you treat this with kmno4 what is the product let's look at here if you take this alkaline kmno4 so what will happen we know kmno4 is an oxidizing agent because this permanganate's manganese atom is in plus 7 oxidation state and by the way here the anion is actually the oxidizing part this manganese is in plus 7 oxidation state, so it is very electron deficient. So that's why this manganese center is actually oxidizing. Means it will take electron density from somewhere else. From where it can expect it to have electron density, electron rich part. And we know pi electrons are actually loosely hold together compared to sigma electrons. And here you can see 3 pi bond. So here 6 pi electron in conjugation. So, 3 pi bond in conjugation means it's, you may consider it's an electron reservoir. Lots of electron density are there in between these three. So, what do you expect? Reaction will be easier. Actually, yes. So, what happened? One double bond got oxidized. Now, student, previously you have studied that if you take alkene, if you take cold diluted chemino, for cold diluted alkaline chemino 4, that is called Beer's region. What is the use of this? Detection of unsaturation, I mean aliphatic unsaturation because the product is actually one to diol or you can consider it's a vicinal diol. So double bond reacts and produce this. But instead of this cold and dilute, if you take concentrated, then what is expected? You can expect it will be, it could be this aldehyde, dialdehyde or further oxidation, even uh, carboxylic acid, etc. But here, if you look at this condition, it's an alkaline chemino 4. So here further oxidation is actually very difficult. I shall explain after some time. So here what will happen first one double bond will oxidize in the first step to the corresponding diol. By the way student, I know it is little difficult to draw seven member rings. So practice in home. First these and second these diol is further oxidized to corresponding one to dicarbonyl compound. Why one to? Because their position. Now look at this molecule little carefully. Interesting. So still this carbon is sp3 and two protons are there and there is a carbonyl. So here what you can expect keto enol tautomerism. By the way, I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on it. You may visit for further learning. So what will happen in reality? One proton will be shifted from here to here. And this carbon oxygen double bond will go produce a single bond and between carbon carbon there is a, there should be a double bond here. Okay, so what you can expect. So whatever this group is intact. So you can see here this is that group and the next carbon is attached to a OH enol. So this part is enol. This part you can say keto. So that's why keto enol tautomerism and uh, this OH attached to this double bond. I mean double bond formed here. So this is actually the product. So it's called uh, hydroxy, this carbonyl derivative. And by the way, remember such seven member carbonyl has a unique property because if you draw a canonical form of this, I mean this one. So this is O minus, this is plus, and obviously this thing is stabilized by hydrogen bonding with this, fine. That's not an issue. So it will produce this one. Here you can see six pi electron cyclic planar, conjugated, means every atom has p orbital including its positive charge. Positive charge means no electron but vacant p orbital is there. And 4n plus 2 number of pi electron, I mean here 6 pi electrons are there. So this part is aromatic, that's why such molecule shows higher dipole moment. 
So what is the answer here? You can see alkaline chemonophore product is hydroxy, this option C. Now if this question appears in your exam, you need to understand alkaline chemonophore, cold dilute not mentioned, so it is not a diol. And by the way, single alcohol, no diol present here. So diol is not possible. Okay, fine. If not diol, next step, next step is actually dicarbonyl. So if you think dicarbonyl and after that ketone automatism using this proton, so you will get this answer. By the way, you can say, sir, uh, if condition is not mentioned specifically, so I can, can I expect that further oxidation, CC bond breaking? Remember, student, CC bond breaking is always associated with some energy, some drastic condition. It is not mentioned. Second thing, in every option, you can see all cyclic structure is maintained. So you need to, you should not go in that direction. When you solve any MCQ, you need to think in accordance to the option provided. You should not think too much, then you will waste the time. That's not good. So here answer is option C. Okay. So this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching and remember one thing for success. Try again and again until you are satisfied.